Now we are going to concentrate on the textual activities of and that Gandhi came. Activity one, not making. Make a note of the passage, read the passage again and complete the following. The uncertain condition of India. So, after the World War, there was a humiliation, unemployment, poverty, desperation. So, these were the uncertain, very pathetic or bad condition of India after the World War. Then, Gandhiji arrived. The arrival of Gandhiji. When Gandhiji came, people saw political freedom taking a new shape. Arrival of Gandhiji removed the black pall of fear. So there was complete fear that black all of fear was removed and truth followed fearlessness. People wanted freedom. Villagers were made aware of the exploitation. Then let us see Gandhiji's teachings and methods. He asked the Indians to be fearless. That means fearlessness. Gandhiji taught the Indians truth and asked the Indians giving up British given titles. And he believed on non-violence, the method of non-violence and non-cooperation. Now let us listen to the twofold action propagated by Gandhiji. The first action involves in challenging and resisting foreign rule. That is the first fold action. The second fold action involves in fighting against our own social evils. So let us see what are the Indians' social evils. Minority problems, raising depressed classes, removing untouchability. Then let us see the molding of India according to Gandhiji's wishes and ideas. How can we mold India? That means even the poorest of Indians shall feel that India is their own country. Then another is the amazing qualities of Gandhiji. So qualities, Gandhiji was full of confidence. Gandhiji possessed the unusual kind of power. And Gandhiji was astonishingly white and he demonstrated exemplary leadership. This is what the way we must take note of the passages. Activity 2, Think and Write. How did Gandhiji enlighten the freedom fighters? What kind of leadership did Gandhiji take? What was the effect of his leadership? India was in a bad condition of shame when Gandhi came. 
there were humiliation unemployment poverty and desperation very bad conditions prevailed at the time when gandhi came to india when gandhi ji came things changed gandhi ji influenced millions of people in india in varying degrees through his confidence unusual power astonishing vitality and exemplary leadership remember all the points we made in the category of not making is coming as paragraph some changed completely others were affected only partly his call for action was twofold one involved in challenging and resisting foreign rule the other was fighting against our own social evils his principal aims were freedom through peaceful means national unity solution of minority problems improvement of the depressed classes and to the ending of untouchability these are the social evils prevailed in india at that time the effect of his leadership was electrifying having a great effect like a electric shock people were no more willing to suffer under foreign domination that means a british colonial rule they wanted freedom and they were willing to make any sacrifice for it activity 3 speech in connection with the gandhi jayanti your school is organizing a program to propagate the relevance of gandhian values in the present day prepare and deliver a speech before the class my respected principal teachers and my dear friends wish you all a very good day as we all know that today is gandhi jayanti that we celebrate we are proud that gandhi ji was born in india and he became the father of our nation mohandas karamchand gandhi was born in porbandar in gujarat on 2nd october 1869 he was educated in law at university college london in 1891 after having been admitted to the british bar bar means a lawyers union gandhi returned to india and attempted to establish a law practice in mumbai or bombay two years later he went to durban south africa as a legal advisor arriving in durban gandhi found himself treated as a member of an inferior race low class man he was appalled at the widespread denial of uh, civil liberties he was uh, appalled means surprised and wondered at the widespread denial of civil liberties and political rights indian immigrants to south africa so indian immigrants or the indians who just migrated to south africa were devoid of uh, or denial of civil liberties and political rights he threw himself into the struggle for elementary rights for indians later he returned to india and fought for india's freedom which finally happened on 15th august 1947 
Gandhi is a man of peace, always advocated non-violence and better not for his uh, fearlessness. That is why he could fight against with the mighty power the British. British B should be written capital please. So the British Empire B is capital. He was always guided by truthfulness. He influenced millions of Indians partially and completely. Different people reacted differently. His call for action was twofold. Even you can write a TWO hyphen fold or twofold. In challenging and resisting foreign rule and fighting against Indians on social evils. His principal aims were freedom through peaceful means, national unity, solution for minority problems, improvement of the depressed classes and the ending of untouchability. So those who were the social evils prevalent at that time. Apart from being a national figure, coma, Gandhiji was also an international figure or international one. In 1948, he was assassinated or killed by a fanatic, religious fanatic named Naduram Godse. Naduram N capital and Godse G capital because it is the name of a person. Naduram Binaya Godse is the full name. But Naduram uh, Godse G capital. When Gandhiji died, Nehru said that the light has gone away from in, from India. On the 70th birthday of Gandhiji in 1939, Albert Einstein, Albert A capital, because it is a Name of the famous scientist Albert Einstein, a capital. Albert Einstein said about Gandhiji, about him. Generations to come, it may be generations to come, coma, it may be coma. Will scarce believe that such one as this, such one means such a Gandhi as this, ever in flesh and blood, coma, walked upon this earth. Walked upon this earth. So I hope you got a very treasurable not especially the textual activities and we will be coming in the next episode with the formal letter writing and the concord subject verb agreement with the grammar portion. Thank you very much.